Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. It's the final of the 2022 Advent Bourbon Tournament. We made it, guys. Thank you, as always, to our friends at Sagamore Spirit Rye Whiskey for helping us to put this thing on. They have supported us through and through all year long, and especially during this tournament. We want to make sure that we give them a special shout out. They've been fantastic to us and the entire Whiskey Tube community. So thank you once again, and always, Sagamore Spirit Rye Whiskey. Thanks, guys. How excited are you for today? I'm very excited. I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> the entire tournament has been surprises, twists and turns, and all kinds of fun. It has taken us to places we had no idea we would go to. We are running out of some of our very favorite whiskeys <laughs> because they've been going <laughs> the distance during this tournament. It's been super fun. We've had a great time. We hope that you have as well. And if you have, we have to ask you now for the first time in this entire tournament. We don't talk about it a lot, but subscribe, like these videos comment on these videos it helps the channel a ton let us know what was your favorite day favorite matchup yeah. favorite silly stupid thing that happened we'd love to hear it and you can join us on patreon and you can support us for as little as three dollars a month it really is the thing that keeps this channel going we love our patreons we love the community and we'd love for you to be a part of it so join us at patreon.com slash the bourbon van and let's do this on with the show we are drinking at least one different thing today. We yep. don't know which glass is which. I poured for Julie, she poured for me. Let's get right to it. This is a heavy pour on glass one here. <laughs> no, it's the I heaviest glass of the entire tournament. You went for it. I... Just gave me a Julie pour I for the final? That, yeah, I think I gave you a Julie pour. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened on that one. Well, it smells delightful. Oh, even though we have one in common, we might not be drinking it in the same glass. No, this oh, is total chaos. Heartbreaking. Historically, one of us has done their drinking and made a choice, and then the other one has done their drinking and made a choice. Yeah. We're just going to do it all together today. Let's do this. This one is really oaky. A beautiful white sugar on my glass one. It's going to be good. I'm just super rich oak. Very nice. Oh, the nose on glass two. This one's fantastic for me. Very crafty, oh. but really, really sweet oak. Beautiful. And this is a fruit sweetness. Nice oak. I feel like drinking. Me too. Cheers. Cheers. We made it to the last day. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. In my super good glass. Sure. This has a ton of butterscotch on it. Some really nice oak, very sugary. It's just checks the boxes for my palate. Mine is a balance bomb. It is sweet, it is spicy, it is oaky, it is rich. There is proof there, but it's tempered by the beautiful mm -hmm. flavors that I'm getting. Coats the tongue nicely. Oh, I wanna spend a lot more time with that. That's very good whiskey. I know that both glasses are gonna be delicious. Like yeah. this is not gonna be an easy day. I took an extra big sip of this one because you poured me an extra <laughs> big pour of it. Yes. I'm not disappointed. Very good right off the bat. I'm enjoying this. You were not so heavy handed with uh, my pour. So I took two beautiful sips of my first glass. Yeah. And now I'm going to move on to my second. How very ladylike of you. <laughs> it's got to start sometime. <laughs> Okay, nose of this two. is nice. Yeah, what oh, the no. heck? <laughs> it smells amazing. Yeah, these taste different. Oh, you know, the initial second that you take that sip, it wasn't anything great. And then like two seconds later, it was like punch flavors. And it just like floods your, your senses really. And it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fruit and vanilla -y. Sorry, I should give some flavor notes. It was like oaky, fruity, vanilla-y. It was delicious. Glass two for me struck me immediately as an oak bomb, and then it transitioned into vanilla and green grape. Mm -hmm. Having given that note at all, I don't think in this tournament, a fruit definitely showed up there, a very unusual fruit, mm -hmm. not artificial, mm -hmm. came out of nowhere. I don't think I've given that tasting note at all, but here it is. Even in the final, we're being surprised by things. At least I am. Neither one of these are traditionally bourbon flavors. Like, they're all there, but mm -hmm. we've 
or I've chosen two that have ramped up the fun. We always say that like, these are really traditional, but there's also something a little extra about it that yeah. like makes it a little spicy or, you know. I definitely have a, at yeah. least one oddball in this matchup. Mm. One of them is certainly more traditional for me. Tobacco, root beer, and leather. That sounds amazing. Oh, maple syrup. Oh, even better. Oh, wow, is that good whiskey. You are so excited that I want to know what you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you look so excited. I'm having a great time. Oh, you're we're crisscrossing, yeah. We are crisscrossing. Cross the streams. <laughs> but for all I know, we're drinking the same thing. Yeah, now. yeah. If we're crisscrossing, maybe we are now. <laughs> My class one. It's just rich. The oak is lovely. There's such nice vanilla in there. There is butterscotch, which... Gosh, in this tournament, I've really only got, gotten on that Maker's, like the two Maker's bottles, and now that flavor is just showing up. I will say there's there's butterscotch on one of mine here, too. Mm, it's I'm delicious. So, I'm so happy. This is such a tasty matchup. I it's know. It's so good. It's interesting that one of the bottles went to the final for both of us. I think this is the first time in three years that that's happened. I think you're right. This matchup's trippy because there's a little root beer on each of them now. Mm. So strange. It's all about the matchups. Everything changes from mm -hmm. matchup to matchup. No matter how much time you take, cleanse the palate, doing all the right things, doesn't matter. They play off of one another. They have to. Wow. I think root beer is an underrated flavor. I never drink I root get it beer. Enough. I mean, we don't really drink soda in general. Right. But root beer, every so often you get in that mood for that, and you you, you can only have one. Usually, it's super yeah. rich and. Yeah, it is just delicious. When you get that flavor, it's it's nice. It's not something that I find all that often, but I've been finding it here and there in this tournament, and I love it. I said at the, at the top of the hour, <laughs> hopefully this isn't an hour video. <laughs> it better not be. <laughs> um, that this was our last video, but it's not because we have our eggnog challenge tomorrow. Okay. And the winners! Come back tomorrow and we will have our winner's announcement, and we will pick a bottle, each of us, from the Advent tournament to pair with some eggnog, and we'll see which one of us can come up with a better eggnog pairing then. It's always, Phil always uh, wins. It's, I think you're 2-0. It's, oh. it's always such a dumb thing that we do, but I gotta, I gotta be honest, I, I enjoy the heck out of it. I think I know. You know what you're going with? I think so. Oh crap. That's usually your line. I know. <laughs> that is totally always my line. I think I know what I'm gonna pick. Well, good for you. I'm, fe I'm feeling very <laughs> holiday-tastic. Norman is here in spirit, and he's like... You got the gift. Yeah, he's like, Mom, come on. Let's do come this. On, come on. Let's end this baby. Oh, man. <laughs> I know that the two that I'm drinking are not the same proof. Not mm -hmm. really all that close, to be right. honest. But they sure drink like they're close. The, oh, uh, that's true. I didn't even think of... Are both of them bottle and bond? Yours are both bottle and bond, yeah. How about that? The oldest whiskey in this final is six, <laughs> six years aged. I know. Man, <laughs> these bottles have knocked out some some age. There, I, that, that wilderness trail of yours has knocked out at least two bottles that were 10 years aged, and maybe three. Yeah. Beauty for age in this tournament. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't believe the way that glass one is coating my tongue. Mm. And Are we back to sweater weather? Oh, yeah. It's so... <laughs> It's, I'm wearing a flannel on my torso and a sweater on my tongue. It's that. It's so good. It's so well balanced. The fruit's amazing. The mm -hmm. sugar's amazing. The oak is phenomenal. Nothing is sticking out yeah. at all. It's all very cohesive. I'm gonna go back to glass two. I'm gonna spend some time with it. See what else I find. I'm I'm in love with both of these glasses. One of them wants to be best friends though. Yeah. I just got friend zoned by Bourbon. <laughs> yeah, you got friend zoned. Nice. Mm. I have a decision. I do too. <gasps> <laughs> That's usually my face. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fastest we've come to a conclusion in a really long time. Yeah. Are you ready? I am ready. For the final. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three. All right, we're going to start with Julie. She chose the super good glass. What made you choose that glass today? This glass won because the richness won out. This one was flavorful and, and light and bright and beautiful, but there was deeper, darker flavors in, in my super good glass and that richness and balance really put it ahead today. And I love it. It was so delicious. Well, you have been celebrating both of these bottles. I know. The entire tournament. Your winner. <laughs> Old 55 bottled and bottled. Oh my 
gosh, it's so exciting. And uh, Indiana whiskey takes it home for Julie. That means that she was a Cinderella all the way through. All the way through. The Cinderella story comes true here. The logo glass was Wilderness Trail, six year bottled in bond. Delicious. That is the rye mash bill. That's absolutely amazing whiskey. We both took both of those bottles really, really far. Yeah. Holy cow. Well, there you have it. Indiana, the big winner for Julie. Let's find out who I chose here. Ultimately, these were both really well balanced, really tasty, very, very good whiskeys. The logo glass for me, glass two, so much sweetness mm-hmm. that glass one, the balance really won out for me. What one super good glass? Super good. The winner in Phil's bracket is Bull Run. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. An Indiana whiskey finishes first for you, second for me. A Kentucky whiskey finishes second for you, and an Oregon whiskey finishes first for crazy. me. Crazy. Hey, what a crazy tournament this has been. By the way, we've never been to Bull Run. We've never visited. We've never had any communication with <laughs> Bull Run. Crazy. And they're three and a half hours down the road from us. Bull Run. We're, we're co- coming for you. We're coming to check you out. <laughs> we've got to see what else you've got going on. You're right there in Portland, and we're going to come visit. Yeah. Unbelievable. Old 55 and Bull Run. Wilderness Trail puts up a great fight, but what can you do? This was an unbelievable tournament. I had a blast this December. (laughs) Seriously, this year felt different than the last two years. I don't know if I'm just more comfortable drinking bourbon and giving notes or- You're all grown up. Yeah, or more confident in what I like and don't like. But I'll be honest, the last couple years we got to this point, I was like, I need a break. Shut it down. And I'm ready to keep going, people. All right, well, we are going to do another 32 (laughs) bottle tournament in January. Get ready. No, we're not going to do any of that. that. Thank you once again to everybody who filled out brackets. Yeah. So 200, nice. 250 of you filled out each of our brackets, but more than a thousand of you have been watching these videos. D- next year, Where people. are you? Come on. Come on. Sign up for this bracket. <laughs> you could win a bottle of Sagamore Spirit Rye. Join us tomorrow. We'll announce the winners. We will pair one of these whiskeys from the tournament with some eggnog and see who can win that challenge <laughs> from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes like a winner, too. None of this could have been more unexpected. (laughs) Totally.